Okay. So this was a, uh, a research done. It's called the influence of dietary factors in the central nervous system plasticity and injury recovery. Plasticity as in its ability to mold, change the central nervous system, adapt, pivot. Okay. Here is the source, the link of where I'm getting the information from. This was done in June 2021, and it was uh, researched by the Department of Neurosurgery at UCLA. Um, so UCLA department, so pretty much the US, UCLA, uh, their department. So they did this research, which was really awesome. So they found there are some key nutrition that we all need in order to have a healthy nervous system and to reset your nervous system or reboot your nervous system, right? Everybody's heard of omega-3 fatty acids. That's, you know, fish oil. We've, we've heard of that, right? So it's found in fish. You can see it's wild, especially in wild caught salmon. So that is very true. Salmon is very rich and it's something that you should eat on a weekly basis, okay? Um, not everybody likes fish, so there are supplements, but my opinion about, and what we do for our, our patients in our clinic, we always go diet first and supplement second, okay? You can, you are going to get majority of your nutrition, you can get majority of your nutrition through your food. Yes, food is not the same as it was 50 years ago, but still, the best source of your nutrition is still food, whole foods. So salmon, if you like sushi, go at it, okay? Just make sure you get good quality sushi, otherwise you're gonna start growing some worms, okay? <laughs> All right, supplementation. So there's different types of omega-3s when you look at supplements, right? You probably heard of EPA, DHA. So for nervous system and also the brain perspective, they have found, the UC UCLA team found that DHA was better for the central nervous system, right? It's a key component of neuron neuronal membranes at sites of signal transduction at the synapse. Basically what, what that, all that means is it helps improve communication, okay? So you're gonna hear me say that over and over, communication. So the DHA omega-3, it helps you improve your communication within your nervous system, especially within your brain. Now, I'm not gonna say that, you know, it's gonna um, treat Alzheimer's or, you know, or even like Parkinson's. Their research does show that it does help. My clinic doesn't treat a lot of that, so that's why I'm not gonna speak too much about that. But their, their research, when you go to this, uh, this is on PubMed, you will see that. Now, what is the dosage that they recommend? Well, not actually they, re they recommend, but the National Institute of Health recommends for 51, if you're older than 51 years old, it's 1.6 grams for males and 1.1 grams for female. That's the standard dose. That is a maintenance dose. A lot of these dietary recommendations, supplement recommendations, they're not what we call therapeutic dosage. They are just maintenance. So it maintains where you're at. If you want to actually start reversing, you will have to increase it. How do you increase? You want to do it slowly. One of the side effects of omega-3s when you take too much within a short amount of time is loose stool, diarrhea, GI upsets. So you want to slowly increase it. Usually over the counter, omega-3s or fish oils, they come in two dosages. One is 500 milligrams one is 1000 these are, these are the most common so 1.6 grams right so one milligram is only this is only one gram so you can you can get an idea that's why the bottles when you when you buy those bottles they usually just say one tablet a day right if you have severe inflammation and uh, severe like neuropathy, tremors, uh, trigeminal neuralgia, severe pain. Usually what we recommend for our patients is you start off with 3000 milligrams per day, which is 1000. You take 1000 caps, uh, capsule 
three times a day. So one capsule, three times a day. One capsule is 1,000 milligrams, okay? 